had commented that he wanted to know more about peers in Fab Laser Karting. We will take two weeks to talk about almost everything about peers. You will find in the videos what is peers, when we need peers, how to set peers, and practical experience in peers. So please get through the videos. You will find peers once for all. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It really helps me out. Thank you for your support. Our first question is why we need peers. Perforation quality can easily lead to cutting and processing good or not, especially in thick mental cutting. In general fiber laser cutting, most of the time, we won't start cutting from the edge of mental plate, so we need to punch a small hole in the plate and then cut from it. In software, let's say what parameters we need to set. Actually, the basic information of peers have been introduced in the video up here. Please click it to get details. First, let's talk pre-peers. It's used for quantity cutting. The machine will do all peers first and then start cutting. We can see the simulation process here to show the pre-peers function. The biggest advantage of pre pierce is to avoid overburning. When the pre pierce is adopted, only after the pre pierce task is completed and the cutting head will return to the start point to carry out cutting. In this way, there is sufficient time to dissipate heating so that the occurrence of overburning can be avoided. If the machine is configured with manual focus cutting head, pre peers will be in help to enhance the process efficiency. The nozzle head of peers is higher than the cutting head. Therefore, if the repeated steps of perforation cutting are adopted, the whole processing will be very cumbersome and errors are prone to occur. When the pre peers is adopted, we can set the focus first suitable for perforation, pause the machine, and then adjust the focus position required for cutting. So the perforation time can be shortened by more than half. Although the total length of running track is increased, the time of the entire operation is shortened, which greatly improves the efficiency. Pierce tab here, we can choose no peers and peer stages, and the parameters we can set below each stage. Do I have a parameters list for peers? Yes, I do. You can click the video up here. It's for Rickers laser source. You can find parameters setting in cutting and peers. Basically, we can divide the peers into two categories. Blasting peers, a pit is formed in the center where the material is irritated by a continuous laser and then the molten material is quickly removed by an oxygen flow which is coaxial with a laser beam so that there is a hole. The process is shown here. We can say their laser beam will be at full power and continue to heat the mantle. It's not a gradual step, just like a hammer Hates a hole in one fell swap and the laser continues downward so there is larger heat space around the perforation and more residue remains. The holes pierced in this way and also relatively irregular and large in size. Generally, the size of the hole is related to the thickness of the plate. The average diameter is around half of the thickness, which is larger not round and loss of splash, so it's not suitable for parts with high machine accuracy requirements. Although this Pierce method produces a large amount of molten mantle and sputters onto the surface, it can really reduce the piercing time. Gradual Pierce is to use a pulse laser with high peak power and low duty cycle to melt or vaporize a small amount of material. Each pulse laser produces only a small jet of particles. 
progressively deeper gradually until the shade is penetrated so the perforation time takes a few seconds the process is shown in the figure here after the laser beam is irritated on the workpiece the surface will be heated first as shown in a as the heating gradually deepens it will play the role of perforation that is b c d until the last penetration shown in E. The entire perforation process is not completed at one time, but is continued step by step, gradually deepening until it penetrates. Therefore, this method takes a relatively long time to perforate. However, the resulting holes are smaller and have less impact on the surrounding height. The time of laser irradiation is intermittent, and the average energy is relatively low, so the heat absorbed by the entire material to be processed is relatively small. That is less residual heat around the perforation and less residue remains. The holes pierced in this way are also relatively regular and small in size. Next week, we'll continue peers. We'll share some experience and the common problem in peers. Please remember to return here. Don't forget to subscribe me and give me your like. Your support is a gift for me. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. See you. Bye.